All right, all right, all right. So, new video. Northern pygmy owls. <laughs> These teeny little cute owls. So, so how did this happen? <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Uh, it is an exciting video today. It's a short video today, but uh, I think it's a pretty cool subject. Um, I was able to photograph the other day northern pygmy owls. <laughs> now I'm sure you're wondering, like, oh yeah, Scott, were you just out walking through the woods and you happened to find northern pygmy owls? No, not at all. <laughs> um, there is a story about how I came across these uh, owls, and um, yeah, I thought I would tell it here real quick before I show some of the photos that I got, and just a quick video. So it's, this overall should be like a short video. Um, so yeah, I've been really trying to focus lately on seeing some owls. Um, you know, just sort of, we're in late winter, so it's like mid-March right now. Um, so we're in late winter, about to go into spring. Um, and yeah, I've just like wanted to see more owls and, um, I've not been having great luck lately. Um, you know, like I'll see an owl report, you know, it's like a great horned owl in this park. And so I'm like, oh, sure. I'll go check that out and I'll go to the park and I won't see any great horned owls. <laughs> so I've just been, uh, I've, I've been using the hashtag on Instagram of all these failed trips as, uh, chasing ghosts. So that's sort of what I feel like I've been doing, trying to find these owls. I'm just out here chasing ghosts. Like, I can't find them. So, um, so anyways, obviously this was a successful trip to see these owls. Um, and yeah, it's it's sort of an interesting story about how it sort of came around. Um, so first off, I am on a, there is a big Facebook bird, Colorado bird photography group um, that I'm a part of. Um, I don't, I don't usually participate in it like I'm not like an active poster I am definitely an active lurker <laughs> um, you know it's just cool to see people's shots and just see what people are seeing out there and um, you know there's some some really good uh, photographers on that group too that post regularly so it's always cool to see their work and uh, yeah you know I just mostly lurk um, but over the past like week week and a half um, photos of these little Pygmy owls have popped up, and I'm always like, "Oh, well, those are cool. <laughs> like, I want to photograph those." Um, but because it's bird photography, a lot of the people who post the photos um, also do not post <laughs> where uh, these pygmy owls are. And you know, I understand. I understand why um, you don't want, especially when it's a rare sort of bird like this, you don't want the location to get out because you don't want it to be sort of overran with. A bunch of people, um, which you know, I, I, I understand that. Um, I think there's also a selfish part to it too, where of course people don't want to give up their, you know, their good spot, and and I don't, I don't blame them for that either. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I don't, I don't have any sort of insight into any of these secret spots. Like, like I don't even know any other like bird photographers really. Um, so I don't really have anybody that would be giving me. Sort of like top secret locations where cool pygmy owls are. Um, so I knew right away I was kind of on my own here to try to figure this out, and uh, I was like, "Well, I'm sure I could. I'm sure I could narrow this down somehow." It's like you know, <laughs> they could be anywhere in the state. How hard is it? <laughs> so uh, a couple days went by, and another guy posted more photos, and it was it was obviously it was the same owls in the same location, and so I was like, "Well." Where is this? And the guy had mentioned in his post, he was like, oh, yeah, had a lot of fun shooting these owls in Boulder County today. And I was like, oh, Boulder County. There we go. <laughs> that narrows it down a little bit, I guess. And I was like, okay, well, maybe I can figure this out now that I know at least the county. I mean, Boulder County's big county. But um, there are tons of other bird, like, websites out there that have, like, you know, reporting functions. So, like, if you're out, like, you know, seeing birds and you just want to, you can put them into your phone, like right there. I was like, I wonder if anyone would have done that <laughs> on these. And sure enough, uh, I lucked out. So in Boulder County, one day, someone had reported the exact 
<laughs> latitude and longitude of where these pygmy owls were. So uh, it was right there in the map. So it was not a it was not a hard mystery to solve. Um, so I I knew where they were, and I was like, okay, well, you know, again, that was a much easier <laughs> much easier mystery to to figure out than I was expecting. But uh, great. So I'm gonna go up and. I decided I was going to go up and, and try to get photographs of them at some point. Um, it seemed like they'd, they've actually been there for a little bit, and they weren't, like, going, like, leaving anytime soon. So I was like, cool, I'm going to find, like, a good day and, you know, a day maybe I have off work or just a day where there's, like, good light out so I can get some good pictures. So that was a couple days ago. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I decided I was going to go up to uh, do the photographs, but... <sighs> Leading up to this, um, again, back to the, the, the Facebook bird group, um, somebody had posted a, a little note that was like, hey, attention to all the people that are going to film or go to photograph the pygmy owls. Um, we may want to kind of not do that anymore. And the reason why that was suggested was because up where these little pygmy owls were, um, the, the owls themselves were on public land. But it was right next to, like, private property. And sort of, I guess, somehow word got out that the people that owned the private property right there were starting to get a little irritated with how many photographers were showing up. Because, again, this was the worst kept secret in the history of time. So, basically, any any photographer. I mean, I'm, I barely do bird photography. And I was like, yeah, I need to get up there. <laughs> you know, so... All of these photographers were showing up and setting up and, you know, just sitting there all day shooting these owls. And uh, I think the people who owned the property were, they were starting to get a little impatient with it. And um, there was also, you know, sort of, it came out that maybe photographers were leaving trash behind and were being loud and maybe weren't being very respectful of, of the property. And so... This guy basically had suggested that uh, we should maybe maybe just not go up there anymore to photograph the pygmy owls because he was afraid that the, the people who owned the property were eventually just going to call the cops. And then, you know, that's not, that's not good. And I, I don't think anybody wants that. And so, uh, so of course, I was like, ah, well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to – I don't want to go up there and be a part of that problem, you know. So I, I kind of was like, yeah, all right, well, you know, I'm chilling. So a couple more days went by and I noticed that people kept posting like more photos of the owls and everyone was like, oh, it was great up there today. And, and, you know, it, it just seemed like there had really not been any problems. And I was like, oh, well, maybe, maybe that whole situation with just, you know, tons of people up there, maybe that's kind of, maybe that's kind of calmed down a little bit. So, um, so I, <laughs> so I changed my mind that I was going to go. Uh, because, and again, like, I'm not going to lie. Like I really wanted to photograph these owls. So I ended up going up there and I sort of made a rule for myself was that it was like, okay, I'm going to go, but I'm going to try to be like in and out like as quick as possible. Cause again, I, I don't want to cause problems and I don't want people who live up there just being like another one of these stupid photographers setting up in our street. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I just want to go in there. Get a couple shots that I'm, that I'm happy with. Maybe shoot just a little bit of video and then and then just, you know, be on my way. Um, so that's what I did. And uh, I was there, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. I felt like, um, you know, that was good. And like I said, the day I went, it was perfect. Um, like I said, there's two owls up there. It was the female um, was the one that was really close to the road. And the light was great. Just perfect. Um, you'll see in the photos when I post here. Um, they turned out great. I was really happy with them. So anyways, that's the story of how I came across the pygmy owls. Um, and, you know, uh, I'm sure whoever originally found these guys was probably not happy that the secret got leaked out or, you know, whatever you want to say. And, uh, you know, I, <laughs> like I said, I see both sides of it. I've, I, I mean, I wish, I wish I knew enough people in the bird photography world that I could get you know, cool information like that, but but I just don't know that many people, so I'm not going to. So if 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 stuff like this comes up, then I'm just going to be sort of on my own to figure out the location or 
just have to hope that some <laughs> some random guy post <laughs> post the coordinates <laughs> on bird websites so people just know exactly where it is so there's no mystery to solve um you know I, I suppose like if i if i invested more like sort of in the community i could probably get to know people better and would eventually probably start getting some top tips but like i i just don't do bird photography enough that it's it just doesn't really warrant my <laughs> doesn't warrant my full investment <laughs> into into just bird photography because as you know I like to do all of wildlife photography, but anyways I, I don't know that's just kind of my take and uh, you know I thought about I, I really wasn't gonna go but then you know I changed my mind so not a chance um these are the photos I got that I thought were pretty good and again like I said I was I was kind of just in and out. And uh, again, a few little video clips that I recorded um, that I thought are cool. And uh, I mean, I'm super glad I went. And when I was up there, there were maybe like four or five other photographers there as well. And everybody was being very quiet. Everyone was being very respectful. I didn't see anybody <laughs> trashing the place or peeing on someone's fence <laughs> or, any, or anything like that. Like everyone there was uh, very respectful. So um, I think it was great. And, uh, you know, it was... Uh, it was a fun day, indeed, in Boulder County. <laughs> I won't. I won't say exactly where it was. I will just say that it was near or around the town of Lyons, Colorado. But um, yeah, you'll just have to figure it out for yourself, <laughs> like I did the hard way. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoy the photos and the quick video. I've been looking for you for a while. Thank you. 